By default, it shows category-wise sales amount. This is fine for the brands which has the categories. But if I select a brand where categories are not given, but has subcategories, this visual will show me subcategory-wise sales. And finally, if I select a brand which does not has category or even subcategories, it will automatically show me the product-wise sales amount. This functionality is not possible with field parameter. And in this video, we are going to create this feature from the scratch. All right, I have opened this PBX file. And first of all, let's understand why we don't want to use field parameter for this requirement. So I am creating a field parameter and I can add the same three columns which was required to be shown dynamically in my bar chart Y axis, which are category, subcategory, or product name. Check add slicer and hit create button. This will create this slicer. Now I can remove the category axis and use my field parameter. And now we can manually select the category, subcategory, or the product name for our axis. The problem here is, for some of the brands, which does not has the category or any other, it will show blank in the axis. And we need to again select other axis from the parameter slicer. The requirement here is to automatically switch the axis based on the selection from the brand slicer. So without a further ado, let's create this dynamic solution. All right, I have this total sales amount measure, which I need to change. But before that, I also need to do some changes in my model. Here is my basic model with just three tables. In the product table, I will create a new column. This column name I can keep as dynamic. Here the DAX expression will start from switch true, and then it will validate. If category and subcategory both are blank, then return product name. Again, if only category column is blank, then return subcategory. And in last, it should return category for the default value. With that, let's also change our total sales measure. Here it will validate. If brand is filtered, then it will return the sales amount values. Else it will validate if the current value of the dynamic column is in the values of the categories, then only calculate the total sales amount. This will be used for the default where nothing is selected from the brand slicer. With that, Let's jump into the report page and change the y-axis of our bar chart. Now we can use the dynamic column. And since we have already modified the same total sales measure, so we don't need to change it. Still, we have one more workaround to do. But before that, let's test our solution. For Contoso, it is showing category-wise sales amount. And for Datum, it is showing the subcategories. Because category is not available for this brand. Similarly for the brand, the phone company, since category and subcategory is not available, it is automatically showing the product names. The last thing I am going to do is to create a measure to show dynamic titles. This measure name I can keep as title. For the expression, I can use the dynamic column expression, but since this is a measure, I need to modify this. To check if the current value of the category is blank, I can use max function over this column or all other columns, which I wanted to check if it is blank or not. And then I can use the defined title. For example, title for this first condition should be product wise sales. Similarly, if only category is blank, then title should be subcategory wise sales. And for the default, it should be category wise sales, which will work even if nothing is selected from the brand. To use this measure as the title of my bar chart, I can just open the format pane and for the title, click on this FX and search for the measure name title. Click OK to apply. With that, we are ready with our complete solution. Now our visual is not only showing the expected axis, but it is also showing the corresponding titles. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedback and suggestions in the comment box.